Captain, how do you make the perfect vine? You make the perfect vine when you put the time in the vine and you go. <laughs> yeah! In an alternate universe, we were captains of vine. But instead, we live for you. Ahoy, on Tuesday nights, it's Night Attack. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joined, as always, by my BFF and OAK. It's JRY. What's going on? Justin Robert Young. Oh, my God. I think that might have been the only time that Spearman Nitrate was actually angry with us. Like, we had this harebrained scheme probably a year and a half ago to conquer Vine with Captain Morgan bits, right? Yeah. And so we, we spend... What do you say? Maybe 45 minutes to an hour just trying to record? I want to say it was like upwards of two hours. I mean, it was a whole post-show thing. It was a long time. And then he just, like, I remember I got an email from him that was just like, do you guys know what six seconds is? (laughs) That's, that's an I imagine, an hour of his time, right? Like, no, just that, like, all of our jokes were that. That's why he made that one. Because uh, like there was like oh there was more stuff. To oh, that's that right. Joke. Yeah, because all of our jokes were like ah six seconds. Like hey, so anyway, Captain Morgan, and then it's like that's it. He cuts yeah, off right exactly. there. Exactly. It was like like well, well, well welcome everybody to my pirate. Like <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's not bad for a vine. You know how how did uh how did, how did vine do without us? They're still thriving mm-hmm. and vining. Vine and Vivin. Not so good, Al. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, uh, are you all settled in in Oakland? Like, do you have do you have any, any travel adventures coming or going? Yeah, tomorrow morning. <laughs> what? I am going down back home to Florida for a wedding. Uh, actually, funny enough, it does kind of pay off uh, with this show. Longtime fans of Night Attack might remember that I once uh, had a jilted friend of mine on this show. And the bit that we did was to create photoshops. Oh, of him just having a grand old time without what's her name? Exactly. Sex would be the, or, or success would be the best revenge, right? Um, so they got back together. Now they're getting married. I'm going to. <laughs> We're doing the Lord's work here, Justin. So it worked. Oh, we're, we're, the great we're doing, news doing is, man, like uh, everything, everything came back together. So I head back down to uh, to Florida, and uh, and yeah, their their wedding, which is uh, going to be amazing, is on Saturday. So how is Lana Janko? <laughs> she doing? That? My God, Lana Janko, man, that's. <laughs> does anyone even know? Hit up at Schwood or at Justin R. Young if you have any idea what we're talking about when I we don't, say name I don't Lana Jenko. I know Jenko. the Lana Jenko bit. Oh, really? I know the words. It was it was one of those pre-shows, like right before the show started, you started getting texts from somebody. I got somebody. angry, a, a series of angry, like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? Hey, what the fuck? What are you doing? And I'm like, I have no idea what you are talking about. And he's like, like I'm like, what is this about? And then he, uh, whoever's on the other end just writes Lana Janko. <laughs> In fact, did you ever see uh, there was a one of the domain.com ads that, that Brant did? He did a parody of uh, a, a note for note perfect memento. And he looks over on his hand and he rubs at the tattoo that says, Remember Lana Janko. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Oh my God. Uh, oh, man. All right. <laughs> Hey, we we're doing the pre-show, and then I said something while you were away, and and I figured there's precious. I, how many of your embarrassing stories would you estimate, as of now, you have not mined for cash and glory on this show? I mean, of the ones that are, well, first of all, there's two things. First of all, uh, I've discovered that when you and I talk, you manage to twist pain that I didn't know was there. <laughs> like, I think I think it's a pretty dry wash rag. And you say, eh, let me put my old pistol grips on those. And you squeeze, like, with Dennis Rogers-like strength, and blood comes out of it. I'm like, oh, wow, that was more painful than I remember. Um, so uh, I, I would say that at this point, yeah, we're, we're down to, like, stories that I don't even think 
think I've thought to tell a single living soul since it's happened. But but so th- things that you yourself were like, yeah, I'm never gonna think about that again. Yeah, no, no. We're I think gonna... I think we're down to places I've jerked off <laughs> that that I haven't even bothered to tell body about. <laughs> That's and okay. here we go, our know. new bit, Places <laughs> That Brian Jerked Off! <laughs> Shot fired. <laughs> He's shooting ropes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I would say... I, 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 I think I've emptied the cupboard. And every once in a while, I look back in that cupboard of deep, dirty secrets and find something that winds up getting brought up in conversation. And I forget where we were talking about places we'd peed. Uh, <laughs> and I just non sequitur yelled out that I'd peed on a headstone before. Oh, God. Uh, that's disrespectful. <laughs> so, all right. Let me finished though because like <laughs> it was I, I hold on, time out. before you even say it i just want to believe like you go into this like pendulet style monologue about how you know it's like your equivalent of burning the flag is like you could pee on a headstone out of respect and love <laughs> you know only i know what's in my heart of hearts as i was unloading on that headstone or I could go, I could go full uh, Malcolm Gladwell and just be like, to understand peeing on headstones, one really needs to fully understand the Mesopotamian farming culture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, all right. So I was, I was in college, and and uh, the way that uh, Syracuse is is the university is segmented. There's a north campus and a south campus, and. These uh, a couple that I was hanging out with fought. They were very a stable couple. They fought. And so I literally one of them left with the car and I was like, I guess I'm just going to walk home. So I start to walk home and I decided to try to cut through this wooded area. And at some point I find myself in a graveyard. And I also realize that after a night of drinking, I have to pee. So you be in my head. Sure. You All right, so here, here's me in your head right now. It's uh, uh, in your, you know, the camera zooms in. It's a, a dark stage. There's a spotlight comes on. There I am twirling a headstone uh, on a single finger like a pizza. And yeah. I say, the concept of peeing on headstones <laughs> is as his old as history itself. Oh, God. <laughs> as far no. back as House of Cards. <laughs> We've seen the president be on a headstone. I just like to imagine that in my version of Inside Out, all the different emotions are Brian, and they're all doing Brian's act. Like, this. like I don't know. Let me ask Mr. Happy Man. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, well, if I'm in a graveyard and I have to pee. Now's the time to pee on a headstone. Well, and specifically, when you pee on a headstone, you that's the only way to know for sure you're not actually pissing on someone's grave. Because any of the, you know, stuff shifts, moves around. Exactly. You could be peeing on a grave anywhere except for at a headstone. Then you know you're peeing on a headstone. I mean, because I'm certainly not going to make a special trip <laughs> later in life to go pee on a headstone. <laughs> this is a now. Or never situation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. on a headstone. So you decide you're going to intentionally desecrate uh, a headstone. How does one go about picking which headstone? Like, do you read the names before? Like, like, <laughs> no, do, do I you... wasn't like doing some kind of like I wasn't hitting up ancestry.com <laughs> and saying like, <laughs> like I want to oh, believe. Uh, I don't know. Too strong of a backbone for I, me. I, I, I want to believe you're just going up and down looking for the word owned a plantation so that you, you can feel good about pissing on a grave. Yeah, died murdering his own children. Like, I'm like, oh, uh, no. All right. That uh, deserves the vengeful stream of my penis. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I was uh, just... So, I, so I, 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 I peed on the headstone. I go back, right? Flash forward two years. The couple that broke up. This is wedding themed. Jesus. The the couple that broke up uh, winds up getting married. They have their uh, their their ceremony at Syracuse, and they ask for me to speak at their wedding. This is the first time I've ever done it. 
It's, oh my God, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the vectors I have, because there's a reason you're telling this story. And the only vector I have is that you, in private, the night they fought, went and pissed and desecrated a grave. And now the other vector is you're speaking at their wedding. Go on. No. Go on. No. <laughs> no. So I write my speech. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should bring that music back. <laughs> and in my speech, I uh, uh, speak lovingly about how much they fit very, very, very well together. When I met both of them very early in the collegiate experience, they were already together and they were a bedrock absolute model of a couple throughout all the time that I had known them, including uh, post college when they were getting married can, and committing their lives to one another. Can Can you possibly... Uh, do this as 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 President Frank Underwood. <laughs> like, what would it sound like if he was given this I, speech? You do the Frank Underwood. I can't even really do the Frank Underwood impression. But if uh, you were to do it, what would it sound like? <laughs> well, now, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Little Morgan Freeman, but I'm okay with it. I know, yeah. All right, so here's the deal. <laughs> I say... The only time I ever saw them fight, true story, the only time they ever fought was that one fateful night on South Campus when they, when one of them left with the car and I was forced to walk home. And in that speech, I told the story of walking into the graveyard and peeing on the headstone. And the last words in the speech to be delivered in front of their family and assorted professional friends was may their love last as long as the trace elements of my urine on that headstone. Oh, Justin! <laughs> Look, you. I thought this is a story about uh, 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 peeing on a headstone. It turns out it's a story about shit in the bed. What the <laughs> fuck was that? So luckily, I ran that speech by another friend of mine. Who's <laughs> another <laughs> human <laughs> being. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Although the one thing that I that I uh, I do remember very very vividly was uh, a professor of ours that we had all shared that I still very much uh, appreciate and enjoy, but always was one of the few people in the college that I went to that would encourage some of my more insane, the crazy kind of elements and ideas. Uh, like they announced that I'm going to come up and speak, and he didn't know. And so I walk by his table and his eyes just got wide as saucers. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Why on earth would you do that? And he doesn't know how close he came to being really right. <laughs> Instead, I just gave a regular speech that didn't involve graves or peeing or wait, anything. Wait, 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 wait. So but who... it was close. It was close. It was a narrow bullet. I That was in my final draft before I had somebody else read it. Who Who was this somebody else that read it? She was actually my editor at the news. We all worked at the newspaper together. She was my editor, so I figured it was oh, it was only fair that if we were all uh, we were all in the same newsroom together, that I would submit my copy to her so she could edit it before I read it. And she so, caught a few ones. She yeah, got a few yeah. busts. How, how how delicately did she explain <laughs> that, yeah. that it might this might not fly? How Here, does wait. that conversation go? Uh, not very delicately. <laughs> she experienced uh, the same kind of uh, why on earth would you possibly do this as you are here live. And I'm sure so many thousands are right now listening at home. Yeah. Oh goodness. Hey, man. Uh, so I, we had a bit of drama last we, week. It was, it was good drama. Good Who's drama. drama. Yeah, yeah. You weren't here, Ronnie. We uh, we had you a supercharged, guys. supercharged uh, mm. evening. Oh, by the way, congratulations on getting your voice back. Yeah, it's sort of back. Yeah, it, it was kind of fun to have you sound constantly terrified of everything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> at, at all Wait, times. when did you lose your voice? <laughs> For the last couple of days, she was sick last week. That's why yeah. she didn't join us. And then, uh, uh, uh. and and then. The girls have all been saying that my voice has changed, like I'm a boy going through puberty or something. Oh, I hear it. Yeah. I hear it. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's like, which, <laughs> like, which, it was great when I was in trouble because she would be all like, Brian, that trash <laughs> is not going to take itself out. <laughs> uh, 
But at any I rate, I know, man. The way that the way that you guys lock horns on this trash thing, like I, I, that, that might hey, be but, that mental uh, breakdown. Uh, by the way, thank you, uh, fuck you very much for putting the metaphor in Bonnie's mind. Bonnie puts out the best passive aggressive tweeter, uh, tw- tweeter, Twitter poll ever, asking <laughs> when is the trash taken out, and it's like option one when the trash is in the, is outside. Option two when the trash is out and the new bags are put in. Uh, and thanks to Justin. <clears throat> Every single time. <laughs> oh, he was quick on that. Every single time I take out the trash, uh, Bonnie has to check and ask, um, <clears throat> did you wipe your butt like a big boy? <laughs> <laughs> so when I responded to that tweet was, taking the trash out without replacing the bag is taking a shit without wiping your ass. <laughs> uh, yes. And and that, it, it just so happens, just so happens that that is also on the gender flipped lines a real issue in our apartment because <laughs> Ashley will very often take the trash out but will never replace the bag and it is a it is a pet peeve of mine that the bag doesn't get replaced That's because so I, I do funny. feel that that is the culminating act <laughs> yeah wow I didn't realize we had that in common <laughs> so I know so next time you see Ashley tell her she's a real bitch yeah, <laughs> wipe <laughs> your ass <laughs> Ashley oh my god wipe don't don't ass. what are you doing <laughs> body you gonna pee on a headstone next what's going on here <laughs> I was just saying when he was telling me that story I was like there's no way I would ever do something like that because like you know that's like automatically all my triggers for horror stories come in, and that's when, oh, that guy's going to get it. Oh, you know? yeah. Dude. That, that's how that in the drunk... first act, you know who's first to go. Yeah, yeah. he's that asshole. So that... is this like a subconscious thing? Like, if he doesn't put the bag in, how do I know he's okay? Oh, no, no, no. no. Well, oh, he, no, no. She's I'm talking sorry. about pissing him on graves. Yeah, Brian. Oh, yeah. Although, although yeah. in a horror movie in our house, <laughs> that's the surest way to know somebody's going to go is if they don't put the bag in. <laughs> No, no, yeah, uh, no, 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 it's definitely you survive, but everybody else is dead, and that's the last scene, is you finally putting the bag into the trash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, Bob, Bonnie is the assassin, uh, you know, she pops up, and, and she puts the bag, like, got the bag, and puts it over the head, and I suffocate, I'm like, ah! <laughs> so uh, we, had, we had some exciting drama last week, we were talking about this weird uh, uh, smiling that the YouTube algorithm did upon um, uh, the Modern Rogue. We were talking about how it's like, you know, we moved Modern Rogue to its own channel, which is a very scary thing to do, uh, especially because we go from, you know, a quarter million views per episode down to like 30,000 or whatever, which uh, is significant when you're trying to attract advertisers like Audible and so on. Oh, oh, wait, is this the moment? Yeah, we did a live stream. Oh, wait, wait, wait hold on. I'll, I'll save that up. for later. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. Dramatic tension. I'm, what am You're I telling peeing? a story here. Yeah, I'm peeing, so I'm peeing on this gravestone. <laughs> the, uh, so uh, uh, we were talking about how we didn't know what was happening, but it seemed like uh, w- the way we constructed the show with quality content that, that was engaging was getting people to watch it long enough that YouTube algorithm figures – uh, I don't know who these guys are. I don't know what they're doing, but people are watching it, so I'm going to recommend it a little bit more. And I think last week we were saying it went from like 3,000 subscribers a day to 5,000 subscribers today uh, a, a day to I, I think last Tuesday we were saying we were up to 7,000 subscribers a day. Yeah, that sounds right. And you pinned me down, Justin, and made me pick a date or held me to a, a date and time that I thought – we had a chance I, to I, I, oh, uh, 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 Doth protest too much. You you wanted to say, I mean, like, because you don't just talk about, like, well, I don't know. It seems as if good fortune is just smiling upon me. You know, I mean, we're, we're really, really close to this thing. I don't know why gold just keeps falling in my lap. <laughs> I'm just sitting here and, and just good fortune raining from the sky. Uh, 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 so, Brian, what, do you think that you're going to cross a milestone? Oh, no, I, oh, I would never say that. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that, I mean, that's a proper thing to say. I mean, I'm just trying to get an umbrella for all the gold that's hitting me in the eye and nose. <laughs> like, Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but... I was just trying to coax it out of you because you want to know what, if there's one thing that people can understand, especially when good things are happening, is to put a little stakes on it. 
right? Yeah. Like get a little uh, a sense so people can build tension and decide whether or not you are going to get it or not by a predetermined date. Because either A, you were it was going to be a success, or B, you were going to be at, you know, you wanted 100,000 subscribers, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because uh, hundred hundred thousand is a significant milestone. You get you get the silver play button, but more importantly, you sort of enter the realm of respectability among YouTube channels, where it's like at this point, you know, advertisers start taking you seriously, and you can reliably unlock uh, uh, you know some ad revenues for that. And and it's a huge thing, and especially I, I cannot state more highly how much Brian and Bryce and Brant and Jason. And everybody involved uh, has put effort into this. I've, I've watched it happen. They have absolutely blown up this channel through sweat and hard work. But sometimes you got to hang your ass out a little bit to nope. make it interesting for the rest of us. You're right. You're right. You're right. And 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 also behind the scenes, we we needed this to work very very badly. And it and two months into it, you know, 150 subs a day was not was not gonna meh, wasn't gonna bring the uh, advertisers knocking at the door. So it's like once this once this happens, I didn't want to jinx it, but I was very very excited. And I want to share it with you guys. But you made me pick a time and a date, and so I said, okay, I don't know. Seems like Monday at 2 o'clock would be a good time and date. And so I, live on the air, put a calendar reminder, and I made sure to title it, You're an Asshole and You Brought This on Yourself. <laughs> Which was go. really great when our new hire, Max, reached out to me Monday morning saying, Hey, um, I guess at 2 o'clock you become an asshole? Uh, do I need to be there for that? Or what is this? <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's so pure. <laughs> uh, that, that is absolutely amazing. That is great. Um, yeah. But but this was the predetermined time set up that either you would be at a hundred thousand subscribers or you would not. And if you were not, as Chat Realm is wont to do. <laughs> Oh. They're very eager to celebrate, but they are also very eager, eager to destroy. To play. Yes. Uh, in fact, we have this. This was the moment on my watch when I felt a buzz and I looked down and my watch just says, you're an asshole and you brought this on yourself at two o'clock. Uh, and in fact, Justin Robert Young, mm -hmm. at two o'clock on Monday, we were not at 100,000 subscribers. What? And I'm sure the laughter was so deafening they heard it in outer space. <laughs> uh, no, because we blew past a hundred thousand last Friday. Ah! Oh my God! Yeah, we. Uh, in fact, we did a live stream. Uh, uh, here's me and my bro hanging out. Uh, this is one of the great things about Diamond Club TV. Oh, by the way, everybody started unsubscribing and, and fucking with me <laughs> at this moment. Oh, as soon as you were watching it. Yeah, as soon as we were watching it live, <laughs> people start unsubscribing. Uh, but it was no, no, it's great. It was a great, great moment. Really, really exciting. And and the channel, it's it's slowed down considerably. Like at its peak, we were doing um, uh, ten thousand a day, and then uh, there was really oh, only one Jay day. Jay couldn't even show his face. I'm sure he was, <laughs> he was crying so ashamed right at the moment. of my radiating joy. Uh but, uh, but but at any rate, um, yeah. So so we crossed that milestone, and it's slowed down. It's down to like uh, like like five thousand a day, which which again is amazing, 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 amazing. Uh, well, that's what like initially we do that we do the bit right. And in my heart of hearts, I'm like, all right, listen. Either this is going to be something that is crossed at this point, or it's going to be very very close. And like, it'll be if, funny either way, sure. Well, or it's like because it hasn't been crossed, that'll be the last little oomph to get it over. Right. right. Um, and then you, I don't know if we, how much we want to go into for in, in whatever back channels, but you are telling folks about your new video, but you're painting this like very USSR breadline kind of tale about it. And I had not talked to you since we did that, the show. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, feel free to. I, I don't think anything's off limits uh, of what you're talking about. I, I just don't know what what you're referring to. Well, on on episodes that uh, uh, you want to help, got grow. it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Th there are certain episodes where uh, I'll reach out to friends and say, uh, "Hey, guys, I don't want to poke this." 
too many times, but you know, right now this is an episode that it really matters. If you would share it on your socials, if you would, you know, upvote it wherever you find it and that kind of stuff. Like, hey, I am asking you for a personal favor to help me goose Absolutely. this thing. Yeah. Uh, but and part of that appeal was like, well, you know, there were once the days of wine and roses where we were cranking around at 10, you know, uh, 10,000 uh, new subscribers <laughs> and, a day. And it was one day, by the way. <laughs> but it appears <laughs> as if that's over. It might, and, it uh, might all be over. Well, you know. We're going to have to return Brant to the pound where we found him. And, uh, and Price is going to have to start hooking if uh, if we want to keep the lights on. So, I mean, uh, I'm not going to force you guys to, to go ahead and upvote it. But, you know, if, if you could... I mean, there's one thing. If if this video was a success, I mean, you know, once is a fluke, twice is a trend, guys. I don't know about you, but I think it'd be great if it turned out that we were trending up. Hey, that's literally what you wrote in this email. That's it. It is. <laughs> and so all of a sudden, like I'm like I'm like, oh my god, now I feel like a total piece of garbage. Oh um, oh oh, for forcing me to commit to a date. <laughs> <laughs> Which be taken out and then had the bag replaced afterwards. Uh, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, I feel like such a piece of shit because like we put this thing on Brian. I know that like there's there's show bit element of this, right? And that's all fun and games. And there's like an element where we could all be like, ah, ha, ha, you didn't get a hundred thousand hilarious laughs on Night Attack. <laughs> And then there's the real business part of it that's like, yeah, great. Well, well there's and, – and I don't, I don't think it's uh, a big shock to anyone to, to say that, like, behind the scenes, there has been – like, this Modern Rogue thing has been a – what, a two- or three-year journey to, to get to this point where it's like – where it's oh, like – yeah. I mean, it's basically been like, I need to diversify for the health and well-being of my family. I need to have more than one platform. You know, it's like I need to I need to have something that I can't be fired from. You know, we got to build this other this other spaceship. And uh, and it's like, uh, OK, we launched it. I don't know. Is it good? It's like, well, I mean, it's 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 cramped in here. There's only a thousand subscribers. But I guess, you know, and then so like to hit this moment of one hundred thousand where it's just like like, I don't know, man, like I. This last week has been amazing. I'm just not afraid. You know, you and I have talked about this, how I have this constant low-grade fear at all times. This is like night and day to just be all like, I just get to have fun and create good material and not constantly be afraid, which is exciting. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's gigantic, which is why I felt terrible when that email came in, and I'm like, oh, God, did all the wind in the sails it die? It didn't work. Like, it didn't work. Because <laughs> I'd, I'd been talking to you uh, uh, previous to that, and it was just like, Every day, oh my god, more subscribers, all these things are coming in. I talked to the doctor of YouTube, and Dr. YouTube <laughs> told me that this will last forever. It's amazing. And 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 then it's like, and the next day it's like, you <laughs> won't believe it. This life of, of amazingness just got better. It's even faster now. <laughs> this is crazy. And then we do the bit, and that's why I'm like, yeah, let's put time limits on it. Da, da, da. And then all of a sudden it's like, Friday comes along and it's like, it's all ended. <laughs> well, it's it's a, all, I, it, I didn't it, mean it, for it, the it email to from, sound as dark as it apparently did. I, I basically wanted to just say, like, it, uh, it, it was smash cut from a party in the Great Gatsby to the Grapes of Wrath in like 48 hours. So, quote, Sma quote. Smash cut. Oh, 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 oh. I, I just picture it smash cut to Justin pissing on my headstone. <laughs> Quote, for a while there, we were doing 10,000 of new subscribers per day, exclamation mark. But that's now all worn off. Frowny face. <laughs> Which is factual. I'm terrified that it might have just been. God damn it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, shit, this shit's getting too real now. I'm super nervous <laughs> about today's episode. <laughs> <sighs> and so I, so I haven't talked to you. Everybody... So then later I talked to you that weekend. Or, or, or I guess it was. Uh, probably, I didn't even talk to you. Uh, uh, I talked to you later after you guys passed the milestone. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, how bad did it get? And you're like, I don't know. Not really that bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you want to know what? It, it, it coaxed me out. I upvoted all the upvotes. I shared. I I, I, I tweeted. It was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was great. And what's important is that you passed the milestone not only uh, before the, the, the – 
predetermined time, but also three days early, man. Like you guys are doing such a great job and, and I, uh, I cannot recommend that channel highly enough. The modern rogue on YouTube. Uh, yeah, here, you want to see something kind of funny? Uh, I'm going to, here, let me, actually, you probably don't want to show this. Uh, I'm going to sign in on the account. I'm going to show, because I was looking at retention statistics uh, on there, and there was a curious artifact on this one that, uh, I don't know if you've seen this episode. I, I, in fact, I think you definitely only watched, like, the first, like, 10 seconds of it, right? This is the magazine one? Yeah. I skipped around. <laughs> It's fine. But uh, here, I'm jumping into... Oh, I'm sorry, Brian. I'm sorry. I have not done enough for the channel. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I know. This is me uh, genuinely thinking it was funny. Um, uh, yeah, doggone it. It might take... I think it'll be too long. You to told the story without this visual. Uh, well, I was going to show it and then show the reveal, but I guess that's all dumb. Uh, so so on, on the retention statistics, it's like it's steady through the whole build of the nunchucks out of the magazines. And then, uh, and then it drops off like a like a mesa and flattens. But then it's like there's uh, there's these little mountains of interest that that go on on the horizon. I'm like, well, what what is that? And I go, and like the biggest of the mountains, I click on it, and it's uh, the nunchucks breaking apart mid twirl, and me taking a nut shot from it. <laughs> so nice. apparently, like that one part was was attractive enough that people kept going back, 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 back. And anytime you bruise them. Bruise them tokens. That's all anybody wants to see. Uh, all right. Well, look here, Justin. I figure. I figure, you did me a favor. You pushed me to make a call. I don't know if you remember, but I was doing pretty well in our Mikey game last week. Uh, I don't. I don't remember that. Mostly because I'm remembering that everybody should subscribe to Patreon.com/slash/NightAttack. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, and if you want a lot, oh, look at that, 1,500 plus of you guys are keeping us live, live, and independent. And don't forget that if you enjoy the show, you could get double the duration. You get your very own RSS feed, you plug it into your podcast listening device, and uh, and then you get the whole pre-show, you get the whole post-show, you get the whole show show. So it's like right now, if you're feeling like, oh, they're already the Patreon plug, how soon is the show over? You don't have to worry about it, because there's no. going to be hours, hours hours yeah, and there are so many there are hours on hours on hours of content and you get it all in your own dedicated rss feed if you go to patreon.com slash night attack man it ain't no secret that y'all changed our lives with this patreon and many of you are continuing to do it to this very day join their ranks at patreon.com hey slash night attack and don't forget if you pledge a dollar an episode if you get anything or if you increase your pledge you got a chance at fame and glory, my friend, because you know what time it is? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of... <laughs> oh, no, great job, fucko. <laughs> okay. No, this was the... It's an hour of it. The original. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. It alternates every week. All right. I don't know where got... you are. I don't know what you're doing, but I want you to know we're all thinking of you, Elliot, Elliot Keith. Elliot Keith. Elliot. You're probably you're too probably young, too to, young remember to remember E.T., e e but if you but were if you a kid were, when, I when I was a kid, kid everyone, everyone would go, Elliot Keith. Elliot Keith. Elliot Keith. Elliot Keith. Yay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Keefe. He's back. He's back. Uh, all right. No, all thank right, you no, very much, you. Elliot Keefe. You are, you are uh, well beloved. Uh, Brian, I feel like uh, you, you hit a real, uh, uh, not only a milestone, but you did it in glorious fashion. I got a man. hot you hand. your shot. I got all I do is win. I get nine questions in a row on a Mikey quiz. We hit we hit a hundred thousand subscribers before my called shot. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say let's keep let's keep this rolling. Let's make let's make one dollar predictions. Oh all my god! Day Wait a long. Minute. Hold on, Brian. Now listen. A lot of people who might be regular listeners of this show know that whenever Brian and I get together, we tend to have a little bit of a a game that goes on. We both show up. Uh, uh, with with a, with a bunch of singles 
in our in our in our pockets because we know that it's time for dollar bets and we bet on anything anything and everything that can be resolved in 5 seconds that's exactly whoa are those 2 dollar bills <laughs> yeah whoa <laughs> that's Did right you, you went and got those special didn't you <laughs> no actually uh i i went to, to when i picked up the beer at the liquor store uh, the guy goes, look at this. Someone came in and paid in all twos. And I was just like, I'll give you all the money I have. I'll give me all those twos. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten two dollar bills. Oh That's twenty dollars. That's ten bets. Well, hey, by the way, hey, real quick, uh, just just a little side check yeah. on this on this game. Hmm. Have you heard and seen the credible evidence? That Alex Jones is secretly an acid house DJ. What? I beg part. I've seen. I've seen the credible evidence that he's actually um, that stand-up comedian. Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks. No, 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 no. no <gasps> that's a fun thing that let people like to write on the internet. There is not only uh, like videos of him with DJ equipment in the back of his home office. Oh. But also, if you comb back through his YouTube, an he's commented oh, he's got an on 808. Other- That's right. Wow. Oh, this is okay. Press pause on the main bit. <laughs> this, uh, I want to. Okay, can we look at some of the evidence? Uh, well, it's uh, there's an unrelated video from Alex Jones, but in the background you see uh, this sort of uh, mixing board for for a multi channel mixer, sure. uh, as well as an 808 in the background of this footage there's also this screen cap you can see he's got he's got a cdj these are um like pretty standard djing um uh turntables yeah uh it looks like he's got maybe this is a second one which you if you had two cdjs you would probably be some sort of dj uh as well as these really nice studio monitors i mean so i guess i guess it's confirmed that he's an enthusiast of of the dj lifestyle right at that point i mean he well, i mean have do those... you own that equipment Without at least dabbling. Well, well, I, yeah. I mean, at some point, uh, ostensibly, you would think that, that, that you would use the equipment, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This the spin article also says in the background he has a, a TB303 baseline synth, which is a very classic baseline uh, sound, uh, along with the 808. Uh, wow. Jeez, <laughs> oh, guys. Well, no, wait, no, no. Scroll down because he apparently has engaged in like DJ chatter with other people who make music in the genre. The Alex Jones channel commented on someone's YouTube video that says, M, is that a 303? Oh, that's amazing. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then somebody, <laughs> just, somebody the- down below just says, Your beats are weak, Obama, <laughs> you wicked devil. <laughs> This is wild. Oh, that's amazing. I wonder if my uh, brother has played a gig with him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your brother probably does know. I mean, so what would, all right, if you're Alex Jones. Yeah. How do you, and Bryce, please chime in on this because you're probably the only person who actually would know the answer. I mean, sure. I think I think I know what you're about to ask, and the answer is DJ Murder Pills, right? Oh, his name? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Number one, everybody give us your name for Alex Jones' DJ name. Let's keep it's that DJ going. It's DJ Murder Pills, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, DJ Murder Pills. Yeah. This is a 1776 remix. <laughs> Bonnie, you have a pick? I can't. My brain and my voice are sort circuiting, so... <laughs> You guys the got me laughing, and now I can't talk. Like the government dropped the twin towers and the false flag on 9/11. <laughs> oh. I think maybe he might be. Uh, uh, he might go by the name Dank Trails. <laughs> Dank Trails. Dank Trails, maybe. Uh, all right. If you were trying to do it, and by the way, they're all coming in right now. DJ Seed Guy, DJ Steel Beams. <laughs> Did, did I ever tell you about the time that uh, that he was having a a uh, one of those radio station feuds with a guy? Uh, but it was the guy whose show I was on, and so in the middle during the break, like this is while, um, yeah, oh man, yeah, this is old school talk. Um, uh, ninety eight nine KJFK was a talk radio station. Ninety eight nine KJFK, the First Amendment at its best, was a radio station in the in the nineties. <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that was the real tagline. And uh, there was a show. It, my first show that I kind of had a regular gig um, uh, with was the Shannon Burke show. Uh, later, yeah. Shannon. Wait, you know Shannon Burke, right? Uh, I mean, I, I uh, he was also in in a Florida market uh, uh, after a while. By the way, X Modem says DJ Jones on the wheels of steel that can't be melted by jet fuel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Shannon Burke later worked at a. Uh, he moved to Orlando and was on local radio there and lost his gig when he kind of shot his wife. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. They keep nagging you about the trash. Put in the bag. Put in the bag. <laughs> yeah, you wipe your butt, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, hell of a guy. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a real sweet man, though. He yeah. seems like a guy with a heart. Uh, well, and by, by the way, he's back now. I think he's a regular on uh, Bubble the Love Sponge's show. Uh, yeah, I, I and believe. he didn't. There was like there, there was there was that's the most sensational way to talk about the shooting, right? Wasn't there some like like hoopla around it that was like? Yeah, there was like I I I, I, I and in fact I may even be misremembering the story. I don't know if like something grazed her, or shot at her, or threatened or or a dog got shot or something. I forget what it was. There was some shouting match and then a gun went off and then he he did like twenty minutes in 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 jail for By it. By the way, none of those are okay. If I nag you about the trash, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just, Just so we're so very we're clear. clear. Yeah. <laughs> No, but yeah. uh, but but apparently uh, 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 Shannon's doing okay now. Uh, uh, in in fact, I follow. I, t I tune into his uh, Periscope feeds from time to time. So you were he was in a feud with uh, uh, the man that is now known as DJ Blazer Tag, uh, uh, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So, so at the and time, DJ Social Justice Hitler. <laughs> at the time, there was there was uh, so I forgot what the issue was, but like his his um his theme song, Alex Jones's, he would always play the Empire Strikes Back, uh, the the Imperial March. You know, because like I'm the one standing up to oppression. I'm the one fighting these people. And he was like the only one, and uh, and so. The, I was there, you know, and of course, here I am, you know, I'm all like, I'm 23 years old. Look at me. I can hammer a nail on my nose. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, I'm on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> yes, you sounded like I sounded like Bonnie does. Look at me. I can hammer a nail in my nose. Oh, oh my God. Do Brian's act. Do Brian's act right now. <laughs> the resistance to fucker. <laughs> I as old as like history one of those itself. old videos with you in the high pants. I didn't need any fat or any body doing your act immediately. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Uh, so, so like, I'm all excited to be on the radio. It's like, oh, look at me. I'm a, I'm a returning guest. <laughs> this is my third time here. And, uh, and meanwhile... He's actively teasing Alex uh, during the ad breaks. He's playing uh, the Imperial March with a baby crying over it. <laughs> ah. And uh, and and Wait, I was, are they on the same station or are they on yeah, rival? No, no, no. Stations? They're on the same station. Like, like they're, okay. they're they're like two hours apart from each other. So this and, is inside. This is inside the house beef between two. Popular right. personalities. Right. And so I look over and, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, man, is this, is this like a serious thing? Because, you know, because I listen to all this stuff. I'm like, is this like a serious thing? And, and Shannon is just like, yeah. you know, basically he gives that 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 squinty faced shake head thing. It's like, look, kid, I got to fill four hours a day. <laughs> you know? It's like, listen, if I can knock out two segments fighting with another show on the network and no one or, uh, no one else is going to get upset with me because you're just driving interest into both shows then I'm going to absolutely do that. Well and it's weird because I didn't understand it at the time but he says he's like what do I have to be afraid of from DJ Tower 7? And I was like what does that even mean? <laughs> By the way, I wonder if Alex thinks that Shannon shooting his wife was a false flag. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I don't know if he shot his wife. Uh at any rate, allegedly, uh, allegedly shooting his <laughs> wife. I wonder if he thought that his wife was an actor. But I was in the room with Alex Jones walked in and gave like a uh, exaggerated stink eye to Shannon Burke. And Shannon Burke had that kind of grinning, shit eating grin where he's just like, how's it going, Alex? Everything good? And then, you know, and then and, and, and Alex, you know, marches over and grabs this magazine off the rack and then turns around and looks at him again. 
with that kind of look that kind of says, one day I'm going to be an acid mouse DJ. <laughs> and you're, <laughs> you're going to have served time. <laughs> and then walked out. Finally, Pierce, my long con has come to fruition. <laughs> the sweet, sweet fruit of victory has been captured in this 19-minute trance remix. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Shannon. <laughs> what do y'all say? Are these beats sick like you'll get if you take those vaccines that the government's giving us all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey man, I thought we were having a party here. Let's get the party going. Let's get it thumping. Wake up, sheeple! <laughs> uh, we're gonna keep this party going like the globalists keep rigging our currencies to keep us enslaved! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh... Charging into a goblin's nest, I will <laughs> rig up my set and pump some sweet tunes and shake the goblin's little tiny... Oh, I'm a goblin! I'm a goblin! I can't handle these sick beats! I can't handle them! <laughs> DJ Trump up the jams! <laughs> Did did uh did we ever play the Goblins remix on here? Probably, I think in the pre-show. Yeah, like a pre-show yeah. or post-show thing. It's pretty amazing. Uh, anyway, so that's my first prediction. Two dollars on it being confirmed <laughs> that Alex Jones is an acid house me- uh, DJ. Is that the bet? Is that whenever we make a bet, that'll yeah, be our little uh, music that's the old, cue? Let's make a deal music. Oh. Uh, I right, remember right, television. Uh, all right, so wait, are you for, for, or against? You're for? Oh, for, for, for. Yeah. Man, I want to be for too, but that's not the rule of. Wait, well, then, let's, about, let's pick a date by, by, by which. A, a date by which. Oh. I, I think it'll happen by. By next week. No, by July 7th. A 4th of July gig. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, July 7th, Brian. We're going to string this dollar bet out. You, no. You, you want to take? No? It's a dollar. I'll take. It will be revealed before the end of the year. Wait, before the end of this year? I believe that if Alex Jones is indeed, as I believe him to be, an acid house DJ, that a, a song of his will be unearthed by the end of the year. I think that's a very good dividing line and i'll take the over on that I'll, i i i think it'll be over over three weeks till we get the, the truth new year's is a popular time for uh for, for acid DJs. house djs yeah, yeah. so and apparently um, all these bets are two to one for me since yeah. you owe the yeah. two dollar bills so mm. can i just say that I, I i kid you not just yesterday i got the steak catalog for all those steak bets that you guys get used to do like we ordered steaks one time and oh yeah 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 Uh, steaks yeah yeah so now i still get like every holiday i get the steak magazines like you know you want to send a steak i'm like no that was a mistake a (laughs) A mistake oh no yeah because you bought me an 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 omaha steak uh a present once yeah yeah try to balance and then i and then i did not heed alex jones and uh a bet on mitt romney and had to buy a gleeful future Marvel writer, uh, a, 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 a stake <laughs> in which I'll never forget Cargill's shit eating grin as we sat across from him and he's just like ordering the biggest steak on the menu. Oh, and- yeah. No. Well, and he's not one to, to you know, he's not one to be coy and be all like, oh, it's fine. You know, he's, you don't have to. He's, oh, he's no. like, that motherfucker's rubbing your face in that bloody, bloody stump of flesh. Dude, nom, nom. got the biggest steak on the menu. And then as if you've ever been to a steakhouse, then you know that the guy will be like, well, would you like anything with it? Uh, maybe some uh, 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 buttered uh, mushrooms. He's like, yeah. Like <laughs> a, a side of spinach. <laughs> yeah. Baked potato, yeah. Asparagus, <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna milk this for all it's worth. It's not like I'm going to write the highest grossing single uh, introduction superhero movie in the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the next few years. Exactly, it's not like I'm gonna outgross Harry Potter sequels in the next few <laughs> years. 
Uh. Oh, man. Well, anyway, I hope he fucking chokes on it still. And I, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> coming for you, Scarfield. <laughs> I, I, fucking people don't forget. All right. Hey, you want to know what? Yeah. I got a bet for you. All right. I got I got $2 to your one. What you got? I got a bet. You know what's great about the $2 bill? Is that it's what? got Thomas Jefferson on it. He does, man. Champion, Jefferson got shafted. Champion of liberty, that guy. Do you think? <laughs> Are you just asking for more Alex Jones impressions? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, look, it's the spirit of, here, hi, I'm Thomas Jefferson. Individual liberty is the best. Well, that's what you need. That's what Hillary was lacking. She should have had help. I'll tell you what. You should have had uh, Thomas Jefferson flying in like an angel saying individual liberty is a thing and not your globalist and new world order Bilderberg conference by a victory garden. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just rolling really hard right now. (laughs) (laughs) I'm grinding my teeth. (laughs) I bit through my pacifier, Pierce. (laughs) I'm at the rave. Are they still raves or are they a different thing now? I don't know. (laughs) Hey, by the way, who books the DJ for the Bilderberg Conference? I'm throwing my hat in the ring. I'm going to be there anyway. I'll bring my gear. Um, So, I'm sorry, you you had some money (laughs) to put up. This is the real conversation that we had today. Brian calls me. Hey, man, what do you want to do on the show today? I don't know. He's like, well, we have to come up with a plan so we can totally diverge from it at the last minute. I said, this is the process. We have to come up with a plan so we can abandon it. <clears throat> abandon it like we've done our liberty. <laughs> Give me a beat. I'm freestyling now. <laughs> Very rarely does a does it, uh, somebody transition from DJ to MC the way I have. I've been up since two o'clock yesterday afternoon. Oh. Oh my God. All right, here I got a bet for you, Brian. I bet you that tomorrow. The Donald Trump will tweet mm, over one and a half times. So if it's at one, you win. If it's at two, I win. All right, let me take a look. Uh, <clears throat> if only, you know, people have been talking about what his Twitter handle was, then I'd be able to check it. Mm. You think that Twitter will let him drop the real part? Like now that he's one of forty-five American presidents, so like, do you think that, like like George Washington would need the real George Washington. <laughs> oh my God. So for reference, today he tweeted six times. Yeah, I'll take the over on that. I think he'll tweet more than one and a half times. But sometimes it's not always. Sometimes he's just a, a stick and move guy. Right? Because actually, he had not tweeted before. Oh no, that was yes, the day before. Okay, so let's. I, I want to ask something simple. Like oh, but whether the day not... before, he had tweeted only three times. Mm. Not so including I'm, I'm, I'm definitely in danger at one and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, you know, uh, 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 that makes sense, though, because I'm paying two to one. It is a good point. It is a good point. You're getting favorable lines because yeah. you're at two to one. Because if you if you're just tuning in, Brian went to a liquor store and couldn't help but getting how many how many dollars in two dollar hey, bills? You know what? Hold on. That's the exact liquor store where I ran into Alex Jones. That's Bo- what made me think of it. No, Body thinks that that's who uh, dropped all these Je- uh, Thomas Jefferson. Are the you saying that hasn't been the subtext asked? of this anecdote the whole time? <clears throat> I didn't really put that together. <laughs> I was just excited. About this idea of him being a DJ. <laughs> so, so what is this one again? Uh, one and a half. One and a half. I think he'll tweet more than one and a half times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, it's on you. <sighs> All right, I bet two dollars. Uh, I bet. Come on, feel, feel the. 
Yeah, you 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 were you're all riding high, right? You're you're just you're ready to you're ready to crush. I Don't think bet, about smart bets. Think about the bets that'll make you feel like a. I man. bet by the end of this episode, tonight, tonight, right now. Uh oh. And this is we're running short on time, so this is I, I'm I'm reaching for the stars here. We'll get ten photoshops of you pissing on a grave. All right. It's got to come into the chat room. That's a $1 bet. It's made. Bonnie, think of a number. Have you thought of one? Seven. No, don't okay, tell don't us. Tell pick it another to us. All right, pick a different number. Pick oh. a letter. Pick a letter. Okay. Don't say don't it. Okay. Okay, got it. Uh, no, no, don't pick a letter. Pick a number. Oh. No. Oh, any number? Any number. Okay. All right. Got I bet it's odd. It yeah, is? I'll take even. I'll take even. Two to one odds on odd versus even? That's insane. Yup. I'm going to say it's even. Bonnie? Sorry, Brian. Fuck. Oh! It was odd. Just go ahead and put that in the mail. <laughs> mail me $2. Oh. Was it, it wasn't 1776 after all. No. Mm. No, it was not. <laughs> Boom. In your face. All, all right. right. So, uh, uh, Brian, you want to you wanna get into uh... Diamond Time? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Have you looked at Diamond Time yet? Don't look I at Diamond did, did you look? Uh, I am looking now. No, don't. God damn it. Uh, don't, no, I have not looked yet. All right. So you don't know how many entries there are? Uh, don't I, don't look. Don't look. Do you know how many entries? I, I saw that there was eight comments. Uh, hmm. Okay. There's eight comments. How many of those are entries? How many of them are comments? And how many of them are? Okay. How many of those comments are from California Carl? Ooh, that's a good one. 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 I'll, I'll go above one. I'll take the over. You go above one? Yeah. All right. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. There's one. Oh, there's two. There's three. Three for California, Carl. There you go. I'm going to make it back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. Diamond time is the portion of the show. <laughs> Bonnie just threw my $2 back. Uh, is the portion of the show where we shout out your projects. If you head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com, you'll find that we have our own little niche of the internet, a little a little scab on the face of Thomas Jefferson on Rush, Mount Rushmore. <laughs> yeah, that's that's who we are. We're Diamond Club. Uh, Indeed. Uh, and Desro writes, uh, hey guys, long time no see. This is Desro with a special wish for a Oh, wait, oh wait, we know Desra. We do. Yeah, yeah no, 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 good friend. Uh, my buddy Brian, no relation, has a YouTube gaming channel called Gaming Without Parole that he puts every spare second of his life into. A few months ago, he asked me to co-host one of his shows, and it's been a blast. The only gift Brian wants this year is for a measly 1,000 subscribers before December 31st. Can I ask for the awesome power of Diamond Club to make this geek's dreams come true? Dude, and they are close, close, close. Uh, 787 right now. I'm subscribing from multiple accounts right this very minute. Uh, you can get to it at YOLO420.com slash jail time swag. Yeah. Uh, Mima, sorry, I'm still subscribing. <laughs> you do the next one while I subscribe. You got it. Barbaric <laughs> Kestrel writes, hello to all of you. Close your eyes and imagine the greatest night attack guest possible. Need help? Here's a few handy hints. He's appeared on previous incarnations of the show. He has a career spanning over 30 years, and he's a complete fucking badass. You're right, you salacious crumbs. It's Michael Rooker. Don't know who that is? Well, it's a shame on you. I could tell you about his work on Mallrats or The Walking Dead or the new Guardians of the Galaxy, but instead I'll show you one of the indisputable pieces of evidence that proves that the Rook belongs. Tinyurl.com slash get rookered. Make it happen, Neshcom. No, this is not a plug. This is not a plug. <laughs> I love that twist at the end. I'm like, oh, is it going to be a tweet bomb? Are we? And no, no it just ends with like, do it, Bryce. <laughs> yeah, California Carl. One of the three comments that California Carl had was, huh, using Diamond Time to ask Neshcom to do something. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> he the, recommends tweeting at Rooker online. Uh, is it case. at Rooker online? That's what Carl says. At Rooker online. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, he he has a very specious. Oh, no, uh, this is official uh, website. Maybe not representation yeah. with his with his Twitter. So. Uh, uh, we'll well, get to him. We can we can get to the Rook. He's busy just, now, he, though, man. He's he's in demand. You could just call him, though, right? I think I still have his number. 
<laughs> yeah, or better yet, you can have your mom call him. <laughs> a mom can call him. <laughs> Dude, watching him put the moves on your mom was the best thing ever. That was amazing. Dude, I'll tell you what. I feel like she would have hit, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, YOLO, right? <laughs> body, body. Like pissing on a grave, baby. Body hit me once. A, body hit me with an unironic YOLO. <laughs> like, like. She was seriously like, I was like, I don't know, you know, my car overheated, but, uh, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just wait. She's like, Brian, get yourself a good car. Uh, y you can finally afford it. And I'm like, no, I, 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 this one still runs. And she goes, Brian, I'm only going to say this once. YOLO. And then she just turned around and walked out of the room. <laughs> that was her mic drop moment. <laughs> What what kind of piece of shit price is Brian's car, right? Like, don't it's we pretty all... bad. It's, it's pretty, pretty bad. bad. It is it is so like I I'm always like I hope he makes it to the gig. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know why I don't buy a car is because I'm like I'm like not until I could get another raise to Bryce and Brent. This is not even a joke. Cause I'm not pandering right now. Uh -huh. And then and then Brent and then Brent <laughs> I say that to Brent. Brent goes, I mean not for nothing, but Marquez Brownlee has a Tesla. <laughs> 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 I'm like, God damn it! I think Wait, what he was that, trying to say is uh, Marquez Brownlee. Oh, he's a huge. Tech. Yeah, he's he's like top top twenty on all of YouTube, right? Yeah, he's a big tech uh, vlogger. Yeah, yeah, MKBHD. MKB. I think I think Brant was trying to say, I hope we make it to the gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the in the in inflection Brant would probably use. Oh, jeez, I hope. <laughs> oh golly! Hey, we got oh, one more diamond my time. Word. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Diamond Time, man. Let's uh, uh, read From it. Because... Large Man Barrier. Hello. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought that at some point you were going to read one of them since I read. No, I, I read I'm the sorry. First... I, I, I got. I, I subscribed to Desra's channel. I was really Hello, excited for it. Hello, fellow DCers, writes Large Man Barrier. <laughs> Big Lance here, occasional chatter, longtime viewer since the early NSFW days. Some friends of mine from high school created their own card game Kickstarter. And since Wait, one of them the card recently game bought is called the contender after my suggestion to read their recent articles, I thought I'd share their game here as well. The game is all about upping your friends with true stories, and they just launched, so please check it out and back it if you like the idea. It is the uh, tinyurl.com slash one up, sorry, yolo420.com slash one up swag. Nice. Dude. Uh, if you would like to have your project shattered out on Diamond Time, go ahead. And head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com. That is diamondclub.reddit.com. And uh, write about your project. If you're one of the top three upvoted, then we will read it on the show. Now, more importantly, let's check in with the Winter Movie Drive. Welcome. She Moved Drive Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of December 5th. 2016. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. All right, enough with the funny stuff. Let's go check the scoreboard because holy crap, is it heating up. Mikey Newman's in sixth place with $14.5 million. Brian Brusher's in fifth place, $73.6 million. Milongo AE is in fourth place with $121.2 million. Team DTNS is in third place with $141.6 million. Chrissy Cates is in second place with $242.1 million. And in first place with a whopping $279.4 million. It's Justin Robert Young. And that is your Move Drive Minute for the week of December 5th, 2016. All right, dude. Um, I have a glimmer of hope. You know why? Why? Because I saw a garbage trailer for a garbage movie that's going to make a lot of money from the folks who brought you The Secret Life of Pets, another garbage movie, comes their new song, uh, or their new, their new show, Sing, yeah. which is next on my list. I bought it for $15. It's going to make $200 million. It's going to take me halfway to Rogue One Town. Yeah, except Rogue One is doing Rogue One things. Yeah, that's the problem. Like what? It looks like it's owning everything. Well, it looks like it's gonna open at like, like, a hundred and seventy-five million. Like it's gonna, it's is, gonna. Is that a lot? Well, look at where Tom is now. Hmm. I, I, it's not like he has a lot of. Money. Well, one hundred forty-one million, huh? Yeah, <sighs> and then and that's just gonna be the opening weekend. Yeah, but it, but and, but, and, but after that, he doesn't have any more movies, does he? No, it turns out he does though. Uh oh. He also has Resident Evil, the final chapter. And 
oh, that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, Trolls. Trolls was best the best buy in the draft so far. Are you telling me that he's going to outperform? Oh, doggone it. Here, put, put, put the draft back up there. You're telling me that his one or two movies are going to outperform not only Arrival, which is at $73 million, but also Sing, Gold, Hidden Figures, uh, uh, the, the Founder, Triple X, <laughs> Return, Return of Xander, Xander, Xander Cage, Cage, Fifty Shades Darker, John Wick, Chapter 2, and Logan. Actually, I don't know. When I read that out loud, that, that does sound like – because, like, Logan, I think, has a shot if it's if it's good – if if it you know, basically becomes the Last of Us with Wolverine, then that could do maybe two hundred million. Uh, plus, that's tickling the beginning of the summer mo- movie league. Um, John Wick Chapter Two could be a hundred million right there. Fifty Shades Darker could be a hundred, hundred fifty million. Well, do you know what the last Wolverine movie's made? Uh, I don't want to think about it. The last Wolverine movie that came out in twenty thirteen. Made $132 million. Yeah. Total. So, I mean, Logan is also going to be the last of those, uh, of that era. It's the end of, of Hugh Jackman doing doing Wolverine. But they've all declined. Sure. But, I don't know. Hey, man. Crazier stuff has happened, right? I mean, listen, I, I would like to think that you have a shot. I would also like for them to re-release Doctor Strange and, <laughs> and, and put the, the first half of Guardians of the Galaxy on the end of it just to entice people back into the theaters to come see it again. <sighs> All right. Here, uh, we, we got a problem here, Justin. What's that? I don't want to end the show until we get 10 photoshops of you <laughs> piss, oh, pissing on I'm graves. Sorry. What do we have one? We have 3. Yeah, uh, damn it. <laughs> go ahead and bring them up. Bring them up. I'm going to close this door so my Oh, sure, sure, sure. Here's <laughs> it's pretty, uh, it's this pretty is, good. Is this it says McCarthy. Is Joseph it? is that Yeah, that's 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 Senator Joseph McCarthy. Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. No, take that you you, you bad person. Uh, we've also got this one on a is this maybe a horse's grave? That's pretty good. No, that is uh 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 the, the father Ursay who moved the in the, the then Baltimore cult to Indianapolis, which is why a Baltimore fan is uh, classily peeing on his grave. And then here I think we've got one last one. <laughs> okay, so he looks like his face. We do see he's in a graveyard. Uh uh, got a thumbs up. Oh wait. There's no peeing. Well, I mean, it's presumed. It's, it's implied. It's implied. I'd count it. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'm down okay. for it. Well, that's three. <sighs> All Ryan, right. Ryan, I think you're going to lose that. Yeah. One. All right. Take, take your Thomas, take your TJ and get bent. Go back to I'm gonna take my teach. Bring it. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian. We learned uh, we learned a lot of lessons here. Yeah, man. We learned that uh, there's deeper mysteries to Alex Jones than what you see on the surface. I kind of felt like we always knew that, didn't we? I mean, we have not yet plumbed those depths as as far as, as we have not yet found the end of the rabbit hole. By the way, man, he's like BFFs with Donald Trump. He's the most powerful, influential man in my zip code. <laughs> in Austin, Texas, yeah. Um, <laughs> Bonnie Tillich just looks like she bit into a rotten lemon. <laughs> does he say that he does his own music on, like, for all the... For all the 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 Infowars stuff, I don't know, but uh, oh, we're now four. up to four, five, oh, five. five, not bad. Uh, we also we have- learned <laughs> that it's good to have a plan so you can abandon it. <laughs> hey, listen, man, who needs a plan when Alex Jones is making acid house music, right? Uh yeah, man, look. We love you guys. Hopefully, if uh, if you're a Patreon, a Patreon supporter, a patron, stick around for the after show. But uh, you guys are the best thing to ever happen to our entire lives. Uh, love you guys. See you next Tuesday. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs>